Hello students, welcome back to our Edu Star YouTube channel. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. You can also join our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description and comment section. Alright, let's get straight into the video. In this video, we will be covering discrete mathematical structure BCS 405A module 3 in that the important topic digraph it's very easy topic and it, it will be surely asked in the paper so first let's know the definition of digraph digraph means uh, we should write the definition like this only because it's a easier we see let r be a relation on a finite set we should take the finite set let it be a then R. R means relation can be represented by pictorially. We can represent it by pictorially as described below. How to represent it? It is described here. See, draw a small circle. We should draw a small circle for each element of the A. Like C. I'll show you the example here afterwards. Pictorially, as described below, draw the small circle for each element of A, set A, okay? And label the circle with corresponding element of A. A means set A. We should label the circle and these circles are called vertices. What we have drawn the circles, that is called vertices. Draw a arrow called edge from the vertices, x to y. That is an example. If and only if x, comma y belongs to R means that element should belongs to relation only that elements only we should label and name it as vertex the resulting representation of r is called a directed graph or diagram i'll show you example you will be clearly understand it here example this is the set a one two three and four for that we, we should write the relation means outer at the relation means in that set only it should contain this number see one comma t two means ordered pair should contain in this set only that is called relation one comma two is present in this set we can write one comma one also but we cannot mark one comma one means some questions they will be given the relations in some questions they will they won't give the relation we should only name it okay uh, here 1 comma 2 is they have given the relation 1 comma 2 is in set a you should verify it 1 comma 3 is in set a and 2 comma 4 is in set a so for that we should write the diagram diagram means there are four elements wherever we want you can you can write the values i will write like this so for the relation i should draw the diagram so one to two means it is going from here like this this is labeled draw a small circle for each elements of a this is the elements and label the circle with the corresponding elements we have labeled this <coughs> these circles these circles are called vertices draw an arrow from the edge from the vertices x to y means this is x this is y we are drawing like this okay draw an arrow okay if and only if x comma y belongs to r 1 comma 2 is belongs to set a the resulting representation is called diagram so let's continue 1 comma 2 like this and 1 comma 3 like this 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 is like this this is an example let's solve two problems uh, they may have in order and out degree sorry in degree and out degree also they may won't ask like that they, the questions will be like this okay here the problem let a is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 this is the set let r be a relation on a this is the r be the relation defined on x belongs to y if and only if y is equals to 2x y should be the multiple uh, two times multiple of x okay so they have asked this four sub question write relation r as a set of ordered pairs we should write the ordered pairs that is a relation in some question they only give and they tell to draw the diagrams sorry diagraph okay first question we should write the relation uh, for solution we should write everything okay let a is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma and 4 a cross a a cross a means 
order first we should write the ordered pairs then we should write the relation ordered pair 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 4 1, 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 this and all the ordered pair we should write for the relation uh, x r by means Okay, next we should write relation for relation they have given the condition like y, y is equals to 2x so for relation how can we write the relation I'll show you here relation is equals to C y should be multiple of 2x okay 2 into x so here 1 comma 1 it can't take 1 comma 2 it can be because 2 into 1 means what if 1 is the x and y is the 2 y means 2 into x means 1 into 2 that is 2 it can be and again we can't take this we can't take this we can't take this and this can be see it should be multiple of 2 or uh, 2 into 2 is 4 that is 2 comma 4 the relation is this one the first question answer is this one and the next second is relational matrix we should write the relational matrix for relational matrix that is second question relational matrix means there are 1 2 3 and 4 4 means 2 pairs ordered pair are there so let's write 1 2 3 4 4 elements are there like this so the relation as 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 means 1 next 2 comma 4 means 1 remaining all are 0 okay there is no link between this uh, matrix and the diagraph okay uh, this is the only question which asks uh, relational ma uh, matrix okay Next, let's draw the diagraph. That is, third question is draw right diagram. So there is there are four elements. We should name that element. Next, only the relational matrix only we should write the diagram. One to two and two to four. Only this much. This is the diagram. And they have us in degree and out degree. They have asked in degree and out degree. In degree means incoming edges. Out degree means outgoing edges. Okay. 1, 2, 3 and 4 the elements. Okay. So for 1, does it have incoming edges? See. Does it have incoming edges? No. It has only outgoing edges. For 2, here 0. For 2, 1 incoming edges and one outgoing edges for three there is no incoming and there is no outgoing for four there is only incoming edges and not outgoing edges this is the answer for the this problem okay let's continue with the another module that is important question arrangements with forbidden positions Suppose M objects are to be arranged in N place where N is greater than or equal to M. Suppose there are constraints under which some objects can't occupy certain places. Such places are called forbidden positions. Means some restrictions are put for that question or some places or some objects that can't occupy. That places are called forbidden positions. And uh, we can solve by using this method. The number of ways of carrying out this task is given by n bar is equals to s0 minus s1 plus s2 
minus s3 means alternative sign if this is minus this is plus minus plus like that up to 1 mi minus 1 power n s n where s naught is equals to how can we find out s naught that is n n factorial s k is equals to n minus k factorial r k k is equals to 1 to 3 where r k is the what do you mean by r k means the coefficient of x power k in the root polynomial of the goal having m rows and n columns uh, it will explain by one solving problem it is important problem i'll show the question an apple a banana a mango and orange are to be distributed to four boys b1 b2 b3 b4 the boys b1 and b2 do not wish to have apples the boy b3 do not wish to have banana or mango and b4 refuses orange in how many ways the distribution can be made so that no boy is displeased we should make the matrix or we should give the data in this form i'll show how to do this Okay, let's draw this. For the given data, I should draw like this. Okay, how many we have given? Apple, banana, mango, orange. Means 4 into 4. Boys also 4. Okay, here apple banana mango and orange a letter and i like this and boy b1 boy b2 boy b3 boy b4 okay first they have what they have asked the boys b1 and b2 b1 and b2 do not wish to have apple means we should, they refuse to eat apple so we should shade it okay then do not wish to have apple the boy b3 this boy b3 do not wish to have banana do not wish to have banana or mango or mango means we should shade mango also and next and boy b4 refuses orange he refuses orange okay this is the given data let us consider the this board name it as c consisting of the shaded part square as the given in the diagram so we should consider this shaded part first we this two that is named as c1 and this two it should be like a square box also we can take we can take like this also but if we take like this it can be easier this is named as c2 and this is c3 okay now let's uh, now let's find the values for this for c1 r1 is equals to 2 how many of the values are there 1 and 2 that is 2 r2 is 0 because they had given only there it is 2 matrices not 2 into 2 if 2 into 2 matrices there then it's r2 is equals to we should find out r2 also now only one row is there so r r1 is equals to 2 now r of c comma x is equals to the formula you all you know i think 1 plus 2x okay 2x next for c2 for c2 they are given like this r1 is equals to 2 r2 is equals to 0 same this is c1 c2 comma x means 1 plus 2x next for r3 we should find out sorry for c3 r1 is 1 r2 is 0 so r of c3 comma x means 1 plus x then we should product the formula product 
formula is r of c1 x sorry cx is equals to r of c1 comma x into r of c2 comma x into r of c3 comma x that is 1 plus 2x into 1 plus 2x into 1 plus x so the final answer is we should multiply like this you know no right multiplication of monomial binomial terms like that the total answer i'll write 1 plus 5x plus 8x square plus 4x cube okay from from this we should find out r1 r2 and r3 this is r1 r2 and r3 r1 is 5 r2 is 8 r3 is 4 from R1, R2, R3, we should we can find S0, S1, S2 and S3 because R3 is the last, S3 is also last. Let's find S1. So S0 means I already told the formula that is N0. N0 means how much N? N value is 4. How n is, n is equals to 4 means uh, they have given an apple and banana and mango and an orange. The 4. Okay. 4 factorial means 24. Now S1. S1 is find out by n minus 1 factorial into R1. n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 that is 3 factorial into what is the value of R1. Shown you right. R1 is 5. 3 factorial means 6, 6 into 5, 6 pi is a 30. Now, S2, S2 is n minus 2 factorial into R2. That is n minus 2 means 4 minus 2, 2 factorial into R2 value is 8. 2 factorial, 8, 8 into 8. No, sorry. 2 factorial is 2 factorial is 2. 2 into it 16. Now S3. S3 is n minus 3 factorial into R3. That is n minus 3. 1 factorial into R3 value 4. 1 into 4 is 4. Therefore, the number of ways distributing the fruits under the given condition n, n bar is S0 plus sorry minus s1 plus s2 minus s3 s3 is the last so substitute the values s0 is 24 minus s1 30 plus 16 minus 4 the value is 6 last answer is 6 this is the important problem they have asked several times first we should draw the diagram and we should find c1 c2 c3 and diagram not so this the data table this data table and then we should uh, mark these squares and uh, for next we should find c1 c2 and c3 then we should find the product formula in that we should obtain r1 r2 and r3 to find out s0 s1 s2 and s3 how much value they are given we should do like we should find that values okay thank you students let's see you in the next video